Parallel Hole and Parallel Culture Drill Training. My name is Rick Deering. I am one of the service and warranty reps with Borgo Industries. I will be your guide through the instructional videos for Borgo Independent Drills. These videos were intended to be used as teaching tools as well as reference material. Borgo Industries has a wide variety of Paralink hoe drills as well as Paralink culture drills. And one of the best places to view the various models is simply off the web page. So if you just go into the air drill section, you can actually drill down and see what you're looking at. So we've got our 3330 SE, 3335 QDAs. I'll click on that one just for example. And then you can actually see what options are available on various drills and the two different frame types and all the different options that go with that. So the first we're going to look at is our 3330 frame. As you notice, it has fixed running gear, front and back. And this is a hoe drill. So you can get this option with the PLX opener or the PLDS opener. The next frame we're looking at is the 3335 frame. We notice that it has this quick depth adjust type frame mount. That means the frame can move up and down to adjust seating depth. This particular drill comes with either the PLS, PLX, PLDS opener. Now we're looking at our 37 20 frame. This is one of our coulter drills. As you can see, there's no frame adjustment with these drills. You have to adjust each opener individually. The 3720 frame only comes with the PLW opener. We're now looking at the 3820 frame. This frame is the same frame as the 3720. It only has the PLR opener, a little bit unique opener, and you can add the option of the planter option. We're looking at the image of the PLS opener. So that stands for Paralink single. So what Paralink means is we have these parallel arms that keep the attack angle of the opener consistent through its range of travel. This PLS opener has a solid trailing arm. So the packer is on a solid trailing arm connected up to the pinpoint. And then we adjust the seating depth by moving these pins and that'll move the opener up or down. It's on a two to one ratio. So that would mean that every half inch that the packer moves up, the seed depth would move up one quarter inch. Same thing with the frame. If the frame moves up a half inch, the seed depth moves up one quarter inch. Makes it easy to add this to the QDA or AccuSet type frame. New for last year and into this year, PLDS, so Paralink Double Row. So you can see that the opener is basically the standard opener, the solid trailing arm. This was the existing seed opener on the standard opener. And we've added a second opener. So this shank here now becomes the seed placement. And this one would be the fertilizer placement. So if we want to adjust our seeding depth, we can change the attack angle here. And it's not a two to one ratio to adjust the seeding depth. 
That means that half inch of movement on the packer is not a half inch movement on seed. It's a half inch of movement on the packer is a quarter inch movement on the fertilizer shank. We do have the option of going the QDA type frame with this, but the adjustment for seed range is a lot less. The PLX opener, formerly known, known as the XTC type opener, has not changed since the XTC days. So what that is, it PL stands for parallel link, and we are a one-to-one -one ratio. So what that means is if the packer moves up a half inch, the seed moves up a half inch. If the frame moves up a half inch, it does not affect the seed placement. So you cannot have QDA with that to move this frame straight up and down. The option you can have now with the PLX opener is AccuSet. Because if we tilt the frame, so if we drop the front down and left the back up, we're effectively making the seating depth deeper because we've changed the working angle. The PLW. So this is our standard opener that we've had with uh, 3720 for quite some time. It's a Coulter drill opener shown in the image with a low disturbance scraper. So we have our Coulter that cuts the trench, the scraper creates an opening, and this firmer pushes the seed into the trench. Again, the parallel arms ensures a straight up and down path for the coulter and seed placement. Unique to this is we have a packer and a cleaning wheel. The cleaning wheel scrubs against the side of the coulter to help keep it clean, but it also adds to help gauge the seeding depth. So we're carrying most of the weight on the packer, but we carry some of the weight on the cleaning wheel and it's done through a pivot so that's what the w stands for walking this makes for a very stable seed placement because if the packer is picking up bumps it will not transfer to the seeding depth as easy because this axle is letting it walk other than that it's a one-to-one -one ratio a half inch of movement here half inch of seating depth change here. The PLR. So we have a little bit of a, a different opener here, our new Coulter drill opener. We had to change to this type opener if we wanted to have the planter placement because the planter placement is actually another chute running in here so that we can effectively have two different sources. We can have the, the volumetric seeding, regular seeding, and then the planter placement in the same trench. So what's unique to this one is we have our, our scraper, our coulter that cuts the trench. Scraper helps create a pocket. And then we've got a firmer wheel instead of that firmer finger our depth adjustment is slightly different here, but our packer adjustment is not hydraulically driven. The hydraulic downforce is only trip force with this opener. With all of our other openers, our hydraulic downforce is actually trip and pack. This unique opener has a spring to adjust your packing pressure. The only thing really that's anything different. All of the drills we've listed before can e come equipped with a mid-row fertilizer placement system. This one is the mid-row bander three with the closer tine. So that places fertilizer between every second set of openers so one would feed from the left and one would feed from the right. 
we offer that same mid-row bander three with a retainer wheel. The retainer wheel is designed to help stop the soil from blowing out of the trench in higher speed applications or where the soil is more fluid. The mid-row shank assembly. So instead of a mid-row band or a coulter, we have the ability to add another shank between every second row. The challenge is a little more soil disturbance, but fairly simple operation. A couple new drills or cedar combinations, we should call them, the frame mounted cedars. So we're looking at the CD872. The CD872 is a 200 bushel tank mounted directly to the frame of a six or eight meter drill. The CD option comes with a PLW opener with a locking axle. Then we can also get the CD drill in the 848 and that's a 136 bushel tank. We offer the same tank sizes in the HD848 and HD872. The only difference with them is they're offered with the PLX opener. So as a recap, the 3330SE, that's a solid frame design, comes in sizes from 30 to 86 feet. The 3335QDA frame, comes also in sizes 40 to 86 feet. And either one of those could be equipped with mid-row bander three or mid-row shanks. The 3720 PCD parallel coulter drill comes in sizes from 30 to 70 feet in row spacings of seven and a half, 10 inch or 12 inch. And there is the 3820 that comes in sizes up to 60 feet, and it is only offered with the PLR opener, and it can accommodate our planter option. For the training purposes, we're going to use the 3330 and 3335 drawings for our hydraulics. All of our hydraulic systems are very similar on all of our models, so you can effectively learn one and know how to repair others.